Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Kirby's Covers.com. My name is Kirby Swinnemer and today I'm going to show you how to play a great tune from Mr. Mellencamp. This one was around in the 80s. And it's only, it's mainly an A, a D, and an E in this one. Uh, but there's also a G chord and there's an A major 7, which is like an A, like an A7 with the G string down here. On the first, right, and you've got the D, the B string and the and the D string surrounding it. So, I mean, you recognize it. You hear this right away as soon as this. It's it's. I use the analogy, right? Anytime you hear that, you know exactly where you're going, what the song is. That's the same with this. It's a it's a signature intro where you have this. So as soon as you hear those first couple of, of uh, chord changes, you know what this is. Or if you've been around a while, you'd know what it is. If you're, if you're fairly young, you may not. But if you have a few years on you, you'll know that song right away. But it's, it's an A, A major 7, back and forth to the D. They play it up here, right? So that kind of gets you off the ground with that. Now you've got a steady shuffle, as you notice, right? And then once you get past that, you're going to play this A chord with this index finger. Now, I, I usually mute out the bottom string back here with this right hand. So I'm, I'm indexing the bottom four here. Because I need to... I'm going to play this chord, which is an E. Like, that's what's going on. It's an A, E, and a D shuffle. But it's, played, it's not played like that. It's played like this. So you're going to hammer on the B string and the D string here with an index across the bottom and then slide this whole thing up as you put these fingers back on the board, right? Back down again, back up again, and right here, a little hammer on with your baby finger. So if you play it slow, like to get the right hand, I'm doing right there. Steady shuffle, little chop there, and then then you start to sing. changes it just keeps going back and forth until you get back to the intro with the A major 7 and you do that a couple times and then you're back to this again all right and eventually you get to the point where you where you're stopping and the drums kick in You get the E thrown in here at, at the end of it. And then drums go into the right? And then I think it goes back to this and you start to sing over again. So you've got you got three parts. You've got this intro with the A major seven. You've got this part where you start singing over top of these chords, and then you have this 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 bridge in the middle where it's chopped up with the drum kit. It's just an A, D, and a G, and then the E thrown in at the end of that. So not too much to it, but the tricky part is if you're playing, if you're playing this by yourself and you're doing the singing, then when you're playing this part here, as you're sliding up and down on the board, going from E, A, and D, that's what this is here. You have to be able to coordinate the rhythm with your vocals. I mean, I don't know if John does this on stage, um, like as a solo. I don't, I don't remember seeing a clip of him doing that. 
he may. The point is, is if he's just doing the singing, he doesn't have to worry about coordinating any rhythm, right? He's just maybe just singing it and somebody else is playing the guitar. But if you're doing both parts here, you have to, you, you might have to practice this a little bit to get it. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple, especially if you know the song. And I just showed you what to play there. You just got to play it really slow, sing it really slow, and then just speed it up to where you get it to where you need to go. But that's all that's going on in that one. I don't believe there's any picking in this. Like there's no lead break. It's just, it's it's chopped up with drums and you know, you're doing da 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 ba da ba da Just back up here with the D chord. You're just playing the D there, a couple of strings, or you can play the top couple here and bottom four there, or up here, right? It's probably more, it's probably more like it up here. Cut the top couple of strings. But I think I play it like this on the demo. Anyway, uh, I've got a, got a page on Mr. Mellencamp and a bunch of other stuff uh, that I've covered over the years on him. If you want to click on the link above my head here somewhere for the demo on this, you can watch me play from start to finish. There's a free chord sheet there and a bunch of other stuff that I've done. And there's free chord sheets for all those and demos there for those other lessons as well. You can watch a few of the demos. Make a purchase if you want, or if not, don't matter. Um, so that's all I got. If you found this helpful, please do something with it. Like it, share it, or uh, make a comment at least. And let me know what you think. Uh, I do have a Facebook page. I mention this at, at the end of every video called facebook.com slash Kirby's Covers. Because the covers that used to be here I now put up over there. It's not as much of an issue with the copyright. Uh, I haven't at least run into anything yet. But you know who's to say that may change down the road. But at least on this channel, <laughs> I don't want to take any more chances getting getting strikes so this is more not so much a covers channel anymore it's a teaching channel but I do all have all of my covers several thousand songs available over on my website for viewing as well so while you're over there I'll put some links down below for the latest 100 uh, lessons that I've done and uh, a page where you can go and look at all the artists and links to take you to their songs and check out some demos or get the free chord sheets for the stuff that I've covered over the years. All right, so that's all I got for now, folks. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that and you got something out of it. We'll see you next time.